friends. Today it is the 10th of October, I wanna say. I'm about to do a ballet class. I've only got like 20 minutes to do it though because I gotta go to work. So I'm wearing this black Leo. I love the back of it, so pretty. And then tights on top and I also have a black Yumiko skirt, but I'm gonna wear my shoes again today because why the heck not? I think I'm gonna try to wear my tights. I should try to wear my tights underneath because my point shoes are stinky and I don't want to shower because I showered recently. But that's okay. Anyways, I should shower after class. Sorry, that was just such an intrusive thought. But anyways, point shoes are going on. I've been trying to post every single day in October and I've been pretty good about at least posting something even if it's not like a full on vlog, but I just love vlogs. I love watching them. I love creating them. I love filming them and I love posting them because it truly just feels like I'm hanging out with friends all day. Anyways, um, yeah, I'm gonna do a ballet class. So I went to a wedding last weekend and I still cannot get this temporary tattoo off. I even used makeup remover. It's pretty good. So I'm not mad about it, it's cute, but it's kind of odd. Things stay on my skin really easily and I don't know if that's because I have really dry skin. I don't really know, but anyways. Point shoes are on, almost. And then this weekend is Thanksgiving, so we're going down to Steve's parents for a dinner and then we're coming back because then we are going to get ready for a trip at the end of the month just to like get things ready for it. Okay, so like I said in the last vlog, there's something to be said about having a goal when you want to be consistent in your training and I think this Vlogoween or Vlogtober has really helped that and I keep saying that each and every vlog, but it's so true. Also, doing ballet in the mornings before I go to work has been so helpful to my dance teaching as well. I've been making an effort to try out some of the exercises that I'm teaching as well as taking in corrections from the classes that I've been doing, whether it's been on dance masterclass or even just when I see myself in the mirror and thinking about how I can apply that in my own dance class. And even though I don't dance professionally anymore, my favorite way to move my body is still a ballet class ultimately. I tried everything. I tried working out. I tried Pilates. I tried yoga. I tried hot yoga. I tried the gym. I tried literally everything and ballet class is where I feel the best even if it's not the best ballet class. I still feel fulfilled and happy after finishing a class. I was literally having a conversation with someone today about taking class and I was saying if you're young and you have the opportunity to take class take it take it take it take it because you will regret not doing it and not going to class over actually taking the class and like I said sometimes my classes aren't that great like maybe technically I'm not feeling the best or I'm having a bad turning day maybe it's a really bad day for picking up exercises but regardless just showing up for myself makes me feel so much better than had I just skipped the entire class and I just love dance growing up so much and I think it's something a lot of dancers lose as they get older especially if it becomes your full-time job it is difficult to remember that it's something that you did as a passion once even before it was a job and it still should be a passion and the days that you show up for yourself are going to be days you'll never regret even if like i said they're not the best classes technically at least you showed up i'm not saying like don't listen to your body and stuff obviously listen to your body if you're not well don't go to class but i know i'm someone who can think of a million reasons not to do something and i'm a huge procrastinator and i'll tell you right now i regret the classes i didn't go to versus the ones i did So I just did my nails. I'm not the best nail artist, but I really like this chrome and I teach in a half hour. I'm just gonna let these like dry. I'm just hanging out with Looney Tunes. And I just ran a bunch of like um, errands this morning. Pretty boring, but necessary. And then I'm gonna put out the decorations later today, I think. And after Steve's done work, we're going to do our little date night. 
we're gonna do our date night where we like spend $50 on one another. We each get each other something the other person wants, something the other person needs, something the other person can do with you and something to eat and drink. So I'll take you guys along with me oh, on that as well. Okay guys, it is Saturday, October the 12th, and I'm finally going to be putting up the decorations. Steve is on his way home from golfing with one of his friends, so I thought I would surprise him by decorating the house in some Halloween decorations. So I'm gonna start with the outside ones because it's starting to get a little bit darker outside, and I don't wanna be outside in the dark putting the decorations up, obviously. And I'm also gonna have a glass of wine because it's the weekend, it's the long weekend. It's actually Thanksgiving weekend in Canada, so tomorrow we are going to Steve's parents for Thanksgiving dinner. Let's go put that was a really loud clap. Let's go put the decorations up. We got a bunch of desserts the other day from this bakery and I've been eating them. This cookie sandwich is so good. Oh, oh good. Mm. Mm -hmm. Guys, this is Blue Jay, where is he? Oh, he knows me. He wants food. So Saturday evening, we just spent the night watching scary movies and decorating for Halloween. I have a bunch of candles, I have a bunch of snow globes, and a bunch of Halloween decorations from Halloween parties and just Halloween festivities in general. Halloween and fall are my favorite times of year, if you can't tell, I love Halloween. I don't know, I've always loved Halloween since I was a kid, it's just so much fun to like dress up and I love scary movies. In fact, I would be as bold as to say that scary movies are my favorite genre all year round. I also love Tim Burton and I am obsessed with The Corpse Bride. I said that in the last vlog because I got that Corpse Bride palette. Now I got some photo frames to put around the house because Steve and I don't have many photos together around the house. We have lots of photos of like our families but something that I feel like a lot of people our age don't do is print out photos. So I went to Staples printed out a bunch of photos and put them around the house but that brings me to the end of today's vlog i hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog let me know in the comments down below what you want to see next have a great rest of your day stay safe happy dancing and until next time bye now